Kaijus. The term kaiju, which comes from the Chinese text Classic of Mountains and Seas, can refer to the giant monsters themselves, which are usually depicted attacking major cities and engaging the military, or other kaiju in battle. Welcome to Discover! In today's video, we'll take a look at the top 15 largest kaijus in movies. Number 15. Kong, 104 feet, from the movie Kong Skull Island. Named by the Iwi tribes of Skull Island, Kong is a giant ape daikaiju created by Legendary Pictures. The overall design was created to be simple enough to be drawn by a third grader, yet iconic enough to be immediately recognized. Kong has a round head and several scars. Kong is the guardian of Skull Island and is responsible for maintaining natural order and defending the island's wildlife from threats. Kong is a very strong kaiju that can be seen shrugging off machine gun rounds. Number 14. Otachi, 207 feet. Otachi is one of the largest Category 4 kaiju as seen in Pacific Rim. Unlike the other kaijus, she appears to walk on all four. Moreover, her four-digit hand wings are similar to that of a pterosaur, which she can use to fly. Her wings are stored inside her forearm. Her tail, that consists of bony plates and three pincers at the end, can be used as a club or a claw against Jaegers. Number 13. Trespasser, 302 feet, from the movie Pacific Rim. Trespasser is the first kaiju to emerge from the breach and kill humanity. Its skin, being very thick, helps it to withstand almost any type of conventional armory. It has strong claws that can rip apart buildings. It emits an orange, bioluminous glow from inside its mouth. When Trespasser first appeared, it caused an earthquake of 7.1 on the Richter scale. Number 12. Knifehead, 315 feet. Knifehead, the largest Category 3 kaiju, is a heavily built kaiju that is characterized by a long, broad, and sharp-ended nose that can easily cut through the armor of a Jaeger. It has two smaller arms protruding out of his belly, along with his two dominant arms, each having three clawed digits. It also has a hard, shell-like armor on its back that makes it very intimidating. Number 11. Methuselah, 322 feet. Seen in the movie Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Methuselah is a new large kaiju that has a forest growing on his rocky and mountainous back. As a result, he can camouflage himself into a forest fairly quickly, well one of the best examples of coexisting with nature. His powerful back also allows him to withstand powerful attacks. He also has large horns that grow down his head. Number 10. Titanus Behemoth, 354 feet. Titanus Behemoth, that first appeared in the 2019 film Godzilla, King of the Monsters, is a giant mammalian daikaiju. He is covered in light brown fur, and his head resembles that of a mammoth with small ears and a short tapir-like trunk, and his way of walking is similar to that of Godzilla. He has broad fingers with very large claws and stouter hind limbs. Number 9. Raijin, 357.6 feet from Pacific Rim Uprising. Raijin is a Category 5 kaiju. The very fact that it is placed under Category 5 goes to show how dangerous it is. Raijin's head is designed like a Venus flytrap with an inner and outer head. His head closes up when he is on defense mode. Raijin can absorb kinetic energy from an attack and redirect it towards an opponent. This ability makes Raijin one of the most powerful kaijus out there. Number 8. Godzilla 2019, 393 feet. Well, who doesn't know who Godzilla is? One of the largest and most famous kaiju, Godzilla possesses enormous strength. He also has amphibious lungs that allow him to breathe both in water and on land. Godzilla retains the character's trademark atomic breath in the movie, one of his most significant powers. Number 7. Scunner. 441 feet, from Pacific Rim. Broad and sturdy like a bull, Scunner is a Category 4 kaiju that protects the breach from the Jaegers alongside Raijin and Slattern. Like most kaiju, it has a green bioluminous glow throughout its body and also possesses four arms that allow it to move faster underwater. 
His two horns protruding out his head also acts as pounding rams against his opponents. Number 6. Mega Kaiju, 500 feet. Towering over the Jaegers, Mega Kaiju is a 10 eyed gigantic kaiju that is seen in the movie Pacific Rim Uprising and is formed from the amalgamation of Raijin, Hakuja, and Shrikethorn. As a result of the fusion, Mega Kaiju gains all the power and abilities of the kaiju it is composed of, thus making it very powerful. It can easily send the Jaegers into the air by unleashing a shockwave that is produced by striking its fist on the ground. Number 5. King Ghidorah, 521 feet. King Ghidorah, the main antagonist of the 2019 film Godzilla King of the Monsters, is a giant three-headed extraterrestrial dragon kaiju. Each head has a crown of ten horns that flare up depending on Ghidorah's current mood. King Ghidorah is truly evil and tries to kill as many humans as he can, whether they are trying to pose a threat to him or not. Each of his heads is also known to have independent thought from each other. He also possesses an intense rivalry with Godzilla. Number 4. Slattern 596 feet. Slattern is one of the strongest and largest kaiju in the Pacific Rim franchise. Its three triple crown tails are strong enough even to pierce the armor of a Jaeger. Moreover, it has a spike-like protrusion on its chest, which can inflict burn damage on its enemies. Even its roar can cause visible damage to the environment it's situated in. This kaiju is also known to be very intelligent. Slattern was also the first Category 5 kaiju ever encountered. Number 3. Godzilla Earth, 1,043 feet. Godzilla Earth is the largest and most powerful incarnation of Godzilla. It made its final appearance in the 2018 film Godzilla the Planet Eater, where it came into contact with King Ghidorah. Godzilla Earth's expression was aimed to be dignified like a god. Moreover, he was designed to be calm in nature, and his head was smaller as compared to his body. The concept of his design was inspired by large, sacred trees in Shintoism. Number 2. Clover, 29,040 feet, from the movie Cloverfield Paradox. Clover, as seen in the movie Cloverfield Paradox, is an enormous kaiju that has heat-resistant thick skin that enables it to bear extreme temperatures, as well as cope heavy fire from human weaponry. It is seen at the end, when it jumps out of the clouds that are similar to Alta Cumulus clouds that have a minimum height of 6,500 feet, suggesting that it has a colossal height of 1,981 meters. Number 1. Void Ghidorah, 65,616.8 feet. If you have been a die-hard kaiju fan, you would know who Void Ghidorah is. This incarnation of King Ghidorah is an extraterrestrial energy being from another dimension, which evolved to discard his physical form in favor of a purely energy-based form. The Void Ghidorah is the eater of worlds and spends most of its time destroying planets. This incarnation of Ghidorah can bend space and time around himself. Well, that's it for today, folks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.